The Gospel According to John. Chapter 10. Truly, truly, I say to you, he that enters not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbs up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that enters in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name, and leads them out. And when he puts forth his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spoke Jesus to them, but they understood not what things they were which he spoke to them. Then said Jesus to them again, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door, by me if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out, and find pasture. The thief comes not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, sees the wolf coming, and leaves the sheep, and flees, and the wolf catches them, and scatters the sheep. The hireling flees, because he is an hireling, and cares not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and I am known of mine. As the Father knows me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold, and one shepherd. Therefore does my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. There was a division therefore again among the Jews for these sayings. And many of them said, He has a devil, and is mad, why hear you him? Others said, These are not the words of him that has a devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? And it was at Jerusalem the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him, and said to him, How long do you make us to doubt? If you be the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you believe not, the works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you believe not, because you are not of my sheep as I said to you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give to them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you for my Father, for which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, for a good work we stone you not, but for blasphemy, and because that you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say you of him, whom the Father has sanctified, and sent into the world, you blaspheme, because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though you believe not me, believe the works, that you may know, and believe, that the Father is in me, and I in him. Therefore they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand, and went away again beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized, and there he stayed. And many resorted to him, and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spoke of this man were true. And many believed on him there.